There are two data structures which are used for implementing dynamic partitioning. One is the bitmap and the other is the linked list. So we have seen in the previous video that the bitmap implementation of dynamic partitioning has got some limitations. One thing is the space required for it in the memory is small and the second is that the search time is more. In order to search for a hall in the bitmap, we have to scan the bitmap to find a set of contiguous zeros and find the proper hall corresponding to the process it will take more time so to overcome these two limitations we go for the linked list implementation of dynamic partitioning for that assume a portion of the main memory is reserved for the operating system and we have the following processes already loaded to the main memory here there are three processes p2 p3 and p6 hence there are five partitions uh, three partitions are occupied and uh, two of the partitions are halls. Now, for the linked list implementation of dynamic partitioning, we maintain a linked list in which each node corresponds to each partition. That is, for each partition, we create one node such that the node consists of three fields. The first field represents whether this partition is a process or a hall and the second field represents the starting address of the partition and the third field represents the ending address of the partition. So in this example, the first partition is a process with starting address 0 and ending address 99 and the next partition is a hall with starting address 100 and ending address 199 and the next partition is a process with starting address 200 and ending address 299. The next partition is again a process with starting address 300 and ending address 399. And the last partition is a hall with starting address 400 and ending address 599. So for each partition we have a node. Now how to maintain these nodes, in what order we have to keep the nodes in the linked list. It is always better to keep the nodes in the increasing order of their starting address. Hence the order of nodes in the linked list will be like this. So here the order of the nodes exactly represent the order in which the partitions are present in the memory. The first partition is a process, second one is a hall, then the next one is a process, next one is a process and finally we have a hall. So what is the advantage of using this linked list implementation compared to bitmap implementation? The first thing is that for each partitioning we are for each partition we are creating a node in case of bitmap for each small allocation unit we have to keep one bit in this case for each partition we are maintaining a single node so the number of nodes in the linked list may vary depending on the number of partitions in the memory even then on an average always the size uh, the memory space required for this linked list is found to be lesser than the space required for the bitmap so the first limitation is solved the space required for linked list implementation is less and the second thing is searching in order to search for a hall in case of bitmap, we should scan the bitmap and find the set of contiguous zeros and find the size of the hall based on the number of zeros. So the searching requires considerable amount of time in case of bitmap. But in case of linked list, there are only um, the number of nodes which is equal to the number of partition and from obtaining the node itself we will be able to identify whether it is a process or a hall and what is the size of the partition thus the search time is reduced in case of linked list implementation thus the two limitations are solved memory space is less and the search time is less and the thing is that it's always better to keep the nodes in the increasing order of their starting address that is the order in which the partitions exactly appear in the memory. 
Now suppose we have loaded a new process into this partition and the process occupies half of the memory of the partition then what we should do here the node corresponding to this partition that is the node representing a hall has to be split into two nodes one node for the process and the other node for the hall. So one node for the process which represent the starting address is 100 and ending address is 149 and the next node represents the hall with the starting address 150 and ending address 199. Now assume that the process P6 has finished its execution or is uh, swapped out of the main memory that is it's taken out of the main memory in that case the node representing this partition so now it is representing a process and then after removing this process this node should represent a hall and the flag bit should be changed from the process to hall. So now it represents a hall with starting address 200 and ending address 299 itself. Now the thing is that here we had one hall already present and now a new hall is created. When two halls are adjacent we should merge both the halls. In case of bitmap by changing the value of bit itself the merging of halls will be automatically done but in case of linked list implementation here it's representing two halls there are two nodes and they are representing two halls and the merging of the nodes also has to be done. But the problem is since we are using single linked list from this position we won't be able to access the previous node and can identify that the previous node is a hall. So a better implementation is using the double linked list. Hence if we use the double linked list from this node we will be able to access the previous node and hence we can merge both the nodes to represent a single hall. So instead of these two nodes we can have a single node which represents a hall whose starting address is 150 and the ending address is 299.